A few days ago, I found this super cool company called Arcade.ai that allows you to create real physical pieces of jewelry that you originally generate with AI. So basically the way this works is you go right here, you fit it a prompt with text, or you can also do an image. Then the AI is going to create a design of a piece of jewelry. And if you like one of them and you choose to buy it, the company behind it will actually physically create that piece of jewelry for you. So it's basically turning AI generated jewelry into reality. So in this video, what I want to explain to you are a few good business ideas that I came up with just by playing around with arcade.ai and more importantly what I think the future of e-commerce might be so that you can get ready because there's actually way more depth to this whole thing that you might realize right now because yes for sure what we're about to see today is only about jewelry but this way of operating might become a future standard in e-commerce just in the same way that we have print on demand for t-shirts mugs hats so we're probably going to start to see this in a lot of different products it's quite quite fascinating there's a lot of potential for big opportunities with this and if you've seen my channel before you probably know that i have a background in e-commerce i got started with drop shipping many years ago scale to six figures yada 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 so i find all of these innovations super cool so let me show you the way this works is you go up here and you can paste a prompt i have already prepared one so we're going to generate a silver necklace of a jade butterfly and then you click on dream and it's going to take between 20 and 30 seconds and it's going to give us four different designs okay so these are the four designs which i would say these actually look quite quite decent maybe this one right here is the one that looks the best and then you can go in here and you can already see what this necklace would cost for example this one is the cheapest one at 78 dollars and then what you can do if there's something that you want to change you can actually edit a little bit the image so that you can just make a few minor changes or you can ask for variations of a similar design and you can change the degree of variation that you want so we can keep it in the middle generate four more variations of this and there you go you see generated four similar designs of the one that already had before now what you can do if you don't know how to describe something is you can just take a photo of it so i took a photo of something that i have at my place and then you can click on generate and what it's going to do is give you a description of the thing that it sees in the photo so a ring featuring a blue ceramic scarab beetle and then you just click on dream and it's going to generate that and there you go these are the designs which honestly i would say they're actually quite good and here's the thing like you could keep generating these again and again and again until you get a design that you really like so i've already been playing with these for a while and i've had a few designs that i think they're pretty cool so for example i have this ring right here which is a seven chakra ring with the lotus Pose. so that one was pretty cool then i also had like this ring with a lion head some necklaces with the all-seeing eye and then i made a necklace and a ring with the logo of my personal brand like the sun that i always have everywhere and you can go to the live feed and see what some other people are generating you can even sort these by the most like and you're gonna see some of the coolest designs on the website and that's why i'm thinking like this might eventually be just like these print on demand websites that we used to use back in the day when i was doing drop shipping like printful that we would use for t-shirts mugs socks hats everything but now it's going to be for example one of the services with jewelry and you can just try to sell things that do not exist yet and then when something actually works and something actually sells you can go and create it and some of these designs are pretty original like this one is actually quite interesting like this bracelet of people inside a pool and basically what i'm envisioning is a future in which advertisers just do mass testing of a lot of different products that don't exist yet and i'm not talking just about jewelry because i'm talking here in terms of the future about other similar businesses and companies that might show up in the future in different industries and just mass testing testing a lot of different products that do not exist yet until you find something that clicks and then you go and manufacture it because for those of you who don't know one common mistake that people do when they try to create a successful business or product is to spend months creating that thing and then once they have it that's when they try to sell it but the problem is that more often than not what happens is that no one buys it either because no one wants it or because they can just not figure out the marketing and the funnel and now you're screwed because you spend a lot of time and also probably a lot of money creating this thing that no one wants and this is something that i learned about when i got started with dropshipping about the importance of first testing things out before you do any major investment so you just go and you launch one product it doesn't work you launch another one doesn't work another one doesn't quite work and you launch another one and this one works and this one makes a lot of money and a lot of people are interested in and you have high ctrs both in the ad and everywhere throughout your entire funnel and good conversion rates so it seems like this is something that is very promising and once you have this data and it is proven that there is an interest in a market that's when you go and you can consider buying stock or getting your own warehouse maybe doing private label and many other things okay improving every single aspect about the product your operation and all of that stuff but do not do all of these things before it actually works right before you have the data because otherwise this is what's going to happen to you a friend of mine recently met with a guy who's doing seventy thousand dollars a day 
with e-commerce dropshipping. And basically his big secret behind his whole operation, it's not like he knows something about Facebook ads or how to select products or any of that. No, the big secret is that he launches 40 products per day. So every single day he's taking a lot of shots. So for sure something's gonna land and it's gonna work. And then once something works, then you go and you do all of these big investment that I was describing before. And if you're selling something that's not physical, like you can apply the same logic. So for example, I have a friend that's writing a book about how to quit digital addictions. And what I told him is do not write it yet. What you have to do, first of all, is try to sell it. You have to figure out what is the angle that works, how to do the marketing, what is the audience. Go build a good funnel that can get people from the ad to your website and then to purchase. And then once you figure that out, then you go and write the book. Because otherwise, you might spend a long time writing this thing, which I mean, if it's a book, who knows, it, it's going to take months or maybe even one year or two years. And then what happens if it doesn't work? And this is especially important for people who don't have that much experience doing online business. Like my friend, he's never sold anything online before. Because for him, it's going to be way harder to sell it than to write it. And if he writes that book, but then it doesn't sell, it's going to be very discouraging. He might lose the motivation. He might want to quit. So it's better if you start with the hard thing, the difficult thing, and the thing that in a way matters the most, which is building a good funnel that you know that gets people interested in and converts. And here's the thing, like once people reach the end of the funnel, it's not like you have to collect the money because you don't have the product yet in a way that would be scamming. So what you can do is just collect the email and just tell them like, hey, I will have the book soon. I will let you know when it's finished. In the meantime, I don't know, here's the outline. Here's the first chapter or whatever. So this is the whole idea behind starting a good, successful business and finding really cool products. Just very fine that there's an interest behind those products before you actually commit to doing all that investment. And that's the thing that I was thinking about with services like Arcade.ai and similar companies that will be showing up in the future because that's the thing that I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of these. I'm not saying that Arcade.ai is the best option. I doubt it because some of these things, even though they're super cool, they're probably too expensive for direct response advertising and to generate impulsive buying. But still, keep an open eye for these opportunities that will be showing up and embrace them, okay? This is the sort of thing that I was talking about a few weeks ago when I posted that video about what's the best way in which you can use AI that improves every single aspect of your business and you don't become one of these guys that's obsessed and paranoid about AI replacing them, which it feels like 90% of people feels like that nowadays. So I'll leave this video right here if you want to go watch it. But for now, that's it. Subscribe. I will see you very soon. Take care. Peace.